Hello, I'm Roanoke Police Chief Sam Roman, and I'm joined here today by Roanoke City Public School Superintendent Rolita White, Colonel Ferguson from the Roanoke City Sheriff's Office, and School Board Vice Chair Joyce Watkins. This week, the Roanoke City Public School System has seen an unprecedented amount of threats toward the school staff and students. While these threats range in specificities, they all have one thing in common. They convey a message to harm or do harm to the students and staff in our schools. Fortunately, many of these threats have been determined to be false or even in some cases a hoax. However, we take every one of these threats seriously from the beginning of the investigation. This is a tremendous strain on our resources and personnel, but it's a challenge we're willing to take on to protect our Roanoke City Public School family. We are and will continue to be present in the schools and we will continue to investigate these situations to the fullest extent, place charges when appropriate, and do all we can to keep our students and our staff safe as they learn and educate. To clarify, we always encourage our community to report any suspicious activity or behavior. We welcome legitimate information that would keep our community safe and help us interrupt violent crime and activity. However, these claims and threats made in an effort to be disruptive will not be tolerated. This is a reminder to our Roanoke City Public School students, your words have consequences. Things you say or text can hurt and scare others, and there can be serious repercussions. These are not funny, they are not jokes. If your words are alarming enough to rise to the attention of law enforcement, you could face misdemeanor and or felony charges. These consequences that will follow you for the rest of your life. Please remember to take a step back and think before you say something or send a message you may regret. To the parents and guardians, please talk to your children and help them understand how serious their words can be. We all need to work together to keep our students and staff safe. Thank you, Chief Roman, for all that you and your officers are doing to support our schools. I also want to thank Sheriff Hash and his deputies. We value the partnership that we have with our local law enforcement and appreciate all that you do. Thanks again to Colonel Ferguson and School Board Vice Chair Joyce Watkins for being here today. We are a month into the school year. The threats that we are seeing are causing fear and we understand that our students, staff and families are scared. You've heard me say before that my prayer for my own children every day is that they will be healthy, happy, safe, and strong. I feel the same way about each one of our students in Roanoke City Public Schools. I know you want the same for your children too. Apparently, this is a game to some students. We cannot continue to do what we've been doing and expect a different result. Therefore, we need to change. In the spirit of transparency, we have sent out multiple messages to families with every occurrence of a threat or even a possible threat. Going forward, we of course will continue to follow our safety practices and will alert our families of anything that is urgent or imminent. What we will not do is unnecessarily alarm families and the community by sending messages about threats that are clearly a hoax or a game. If we are unsure, we will notify you. But if we, are, if we clearly know that it is a hoax or a game, we will be more discerning with sending those messages. Students, I want you to know that if these threats continue, we are out of options and your extracurricular activities are in jeopardy. That could mean canceling homecoming events, canceling sporting events, canceling after school clubs, activities and concerts. It could also mean adding days to the school calendar for any lost instructional time. We cannot move the needle on student performance if teaching and learning continue to be disrupted. So let me be clear, teaching and learning will resume. If that means that we must add time in the calendar, that's what we will do. But we are not going to miss instructional time. You deserve better and you deserve consistency and continuity in your instructional program. To those who are thinking of pulling these pranks, know that we will press charges to the fullest extent of the law. And for most of you, you do what you're supposed to do. You follow the rules, and I know that you are impacted by this and that you are fed up by it as well. 
I am too, and I hate that you are impacted by this. I want to thank you for making good choices and for making good decisions. I will continue to say to everyone, if you see something, say something. This is how we're keeping everyone safe. So our administrators, our teachers, our staff, law enforcement partners are doing all that we can to investigate all threats and keep our students and staff safe. But we can't do it alone. Parents, I need you to partner with us. Check your child's social media accounts. If you don't know how to do it, reach out to your child's school and we will help you find the resources you need. Check their rooms and their book bags. Talk with your children and emphasize what Chief Roman just said, that threats, whether intentional or as a joke, are taken seriously and may be punishable by law. To our community, remember, everything that you see on social media is not necessarily true. Do not contribute to false information that is being shared. That is not fair to our students, our staff, our families, or our community. We are better than this. I want to thank you for joining with us and making sure that our students have the opportunities that they need and they deserve, including feeling safe. To our teachers, our administrators, and all of our staff in Roanoke City Public Schools, thank you is not enough. But I hope you know that the school board and I see everything that you're doing and we appreciate you being there for our students and continuing to invest in them through high quality instruction by providing a safe and welcoming school community. Thanks again. And because we are one, we will get through this together.